Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today at the Shaker Launch House. And we're here with the founder of Parma Pierogies, Mary Poldrui. Thanks so much for taking time to talk with us, Mary. Thank you very much. And you got Poldrui right. I'm going to change it to pierogi. It sounds the same. I think you should. <laughs> talk about Parma Pierogies and, and how you came for that, because you did not start out as an entrepreneur, I understand. No, uh, out of high school, I grew up in Parma, went to uh, work at AT&T for 10 years, had that American dream, though, to start my own business, went to the banks. They won't help you. Venture capitalists offered me the money. They wanted to take 80% ownership wow. of my firstborn kid. So resourceful <laughs> entrepreneur that I was, I picked up the Cleveland phone book, and I circled all the Polish doctors in the last... Doctors and lawyers with the skis at the end of their name. And I cold called 600 people, found 80 to put up the money back in 91. Wow. The idea was to franchise Polish fast food like Ray Kroc of fast food and retire young, not so much for the money, but I've either been blessed or cursed with this crusader energy, and I love and want to help passion, uh, battered and abused children in Ohio. Talk about so. where some of the profits go, like two-thirds of your profits after taxes, is that well, right? Well, yeah, we had a 10-year span back in the 90s of a fast food restaurant. We branched out into the frozen food division, and we were in every major grocery store in Northeast Ohio, dollar more per dozen than Mrs. T's, our competitor. Wow. Did I mention they taste like the cardboard box they come in? <laughs> anyway, we outsold them. A bad attorney, dishonest automation dealer, killed the business back in 2000, so I haven't been in business for 10 years. Wow. So I entered this cozy pitch contest recently. If yes. you remember, like the Shark Tank, they brought in Damon John. I was honored to be a finalist. I got investors wanting to give me money, and once again, they want to take two-thirds of my company. So a brilliant young <laughs> college student that I met said, Mary, if you want to help kids and you have to give two-thirds of your company to an angel investor, why don't we be angels every day and give two-thirds of the net profits to the battered and abused kids? So it's brilliant. We didn't set up a um, nonprofit, a 5013C. We're a private charitable organization. Right. Anybody contributing on our Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign is going to be part of this comeback story. And this vehicle, Parma Progies, like Paul Newman did with Newman's Own, is right. going to generate money for years to come. So everybody can be part of this campaign. And they need to go to Indiegogo.com. Right. One of the world, it is the world's largest crowdfunding platform. When you go to Indiegogo.com, you type in Parma Progies, you'll find our campaign. There's a whole bunch of information there. And what do and people put do? In they a buck. Can... A dollar you can put in a dollar or up to a hundred dollars, and we've got a neat contest coming out very shortly. So watch our Facebook page and Twitter. Anybody who can s submit a crazy wacky video to hopefully go viral, draw some attention. Nice. Maybe a gingham style polka, <laughs> uh, maybe a bubba eating a pierogi with a flamingo. I don't know. Uh, so send those in, and we appreciate your your help and support in this cause. That's awesome. And you're here tonight uh, learning a little bit about crowdfunding. However, you sound like you already have your own strategies our, uh, about yeah, that. Yeah, we have 30 days left on our campaign, so we're at the, the height of uh, the momentum building. By the way, Providence House in Cleveland is our number one beneficiary. I'm proud to be working with them. Nice. They're the nation's oldest crisis nursery. And besides helping children and housing them, they try to get to the family unit so that abusive cycle does not continue. Good so I'm, we're so happy to be with them. Mary, you, you figured out the triple bottom line here where you're doing well, you're doing good, and you're helping your community. So. Thank you so much for taking time to talk. Thank you. I couldn't think of a better way to bring my company back. And at my age, I, I would want to do something fulfilling. And here's where you're supposed to say, Mary, you don't look that old. <laughs> and you don't because you have so much passion. Thank you very much. And thank you for I bringing so appreciate your, your the time. Cleveland Pride back thank to you. your own business that's doing good. It's a 501 nonprofit. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's not a nonprofit, but it's a charitable business that you can be part of. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much, you're Mary. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.